Hi everyone, welcome to this week's quick tip and today I'm going to talk about auto resizing the displays of your dashboards for different devices. Now this has been something in Spotfire where I know a lot of users have uh, had challenges with and what I did is you know I looked at a few different methods you know some people try using iron python to resize visualizations or javascript to override things and that can be all kind of complicated what i've come up with is actually something that i think is pretty simple and is comparable to other dashboard products out there uh, in other dashboard products you will design a page for your actual desktop display and then you'll decide uh, to design another version of that for a mobile or a tablet display. And then what I've done is incorporated that into Spotfire so that you can actually design different pages for different displays and they will display uh, depending on the device. So auto detect the device uh, pixel and resolution and it'll display that. So let's take a look at this. So what I have here is a simple uh, dashboard and I put an annotation up here for desktop and then this is the same display with smaller fonts and this is for tablet and then I have um, a vertical display and I'll explain this in a little bit second this is for mobile so what I can do is I can go to my Spotfire dashboard in the uh, uh, in the web player and I open this dashboard it will automatically recognize that I'm on a desktop layout It'll display the desktop page and it'll hide the other pages. So me as a consumer, I have no idea that there's other pages behind the scenes. I'm only getting the desktop pages. Now, if I, for instance, did that for a tablet display and I open this dashboard, this is automatically going to recognize that I'm on a smaller screen. It's going to use a smaller fonts and it's going to use the tablet page, which you can see denoted with the bracket T there. Now, if I wanted to show this on a mobile screen and I bring this over, you can see that it starts to jumble things up. So Spotfire does its best to try to rearrange things vertically, um, but it put the, all the text areas at the top and then it put the graphs below that. So product management doesn't align with this, uh, this blue chart. Marketing doesn't align with this red chart. Finance doesn't align with this yellow chart, uh, things like that. So what I can do is actually, uh, now that I have this in kind of a mobile uh, display with, I'll open this and this will actually open up the mobile page where I have designed this to display properly the right uh, text areas with the right graphs. And you can see this all going up and down. Now it might seem like it's a lot of work to design different pages for your dashboard, but I, I really found it to be quite easy and especially because you can go to any page, right click it and duplicate it and then you can just easily drag and drop and move things around. Furthermore, I want to also point out that for mobile displays and mobile consumption, you don't want to show necessarily the whole dashboard. You're really just looking for high level KPIs and you're not necessarily showing details like tables and things like that as often. Um, you really just want to see like just high level trends and then people are very like understanding of that they often know that when they go to their desktop that's when they're gonna do some deep dive into the dashboard now another benefit of doing this this way which i'm about to show you how i did it um the another benefit of doing it this way is that you can only you, you can you do this all within one dxp so the data is loaded once you don't have to have multiple dxps with different data loading different scheduling and caching uh, different resources used. You don't have to manage multiple DXPs. It's all in one DXP. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, there is a Iron Python script. So I'm going to go to Document Properties and I'm going to go to Scripts. I'm going to show you this Iron Python script called Auto Detect. And now what Auto Detect does is I've told it that I want a mobile ID and a tablet ID. So the mobile ID is bracket M, the tablet ID is bracket T. And so that's what it's going to search the pages by. You can take this script. I'm going to post a link to this uh, script in the, the video description. You can take this and you can change the identifiers if you want to do something a little more discreet or something more explicit. But I have the tablet identifier and the mobile identifier on these pages here. And the other thing I've done is I've set the mobile width and the tablet width. 
So for the mobile width, anything that's 600 pixels or less, it's gonna automatically uh, go to the mobile page with the stacked view and it's gonna display that. Anything that's between 600 and 1280, I picked 1280 because that's a 720 by 1280 uh, resolution for smaller laptop screens that are 720p. Um, anything that's between 600 and 1280 is gonna show the tablet display and then anything larger than 1280 on your on your width, your width uh, resolution is gonna show the desktop display. And so that's really what this code does is it, it's, it's gonna get the page size, it's gonna get the active page reference, get the visualization area size. So that's gonna register the page size object where we can take the width property of it and we can do these comparisons to give the full size condition. And if it's in the full size condition, then it will hide the other pages that are not full size. If it's a tablet size, it'll hide the pages that are not with the bracket T. And if it's mobile, it will hide the pages that are not with bracket M. Now you wanna be able to trigger this from your, uh, you, there, there's two things here. Um, you wanna be able to trigger this automatically and you also don't want to spend a lot of time reformatting pages. So while I'm here, I'm gonna show you, I have another data or another Iron Python script that I'm gonna share a link to. And this is to adjust fonts of all the visualizations on a page. So you put your font style in and the font size in and you run this on the page, it'll shrink down all the fonts for you. And that way you can still use the default fonts on the other pages um, and not have to individually manage the fonts on visualizations on a uh, tablet page or a mobile page. So, so now how do you automatically trigger this? And I did this through a data function. So you might be familiar with this uh, concept. We have a video on how you trigger Iron Python scripts on load. So I have this run on load and edit script. Um, I just have an output, which is going, going to be an output value. And I'm reading the current system time. So you can use this. I put it as character there because I'm going to write it as a string. Um, but you can just use system time and write it as a date time property. And what this does is then go into a parameter where the output is a document property that's last loaded. And you can see here I have it as a string. So when I hit OK and I close this, I can go to File, Document Properties, and I can go to Properties, and you can see this is the last loaded date time. And the script is, when this changes, I want it to execute a script. So you hit the Script button, and so anytime the property value changes, execute the script below, and you select that, and you select your Auto Detect uh, uh, script, uh, Iron Python script. Now, one other note here is in your data function. So if I go to data function properties, when you're setting this up, you want it to you want to turn off allow caching. Otherwise, the data function may not execute each time. So you want to uncheck that. And then in your parameters, you want to make sure you check refresh function automatically. Now, the other thing to point out is for the mobile displays, you want to arrange these in a vertical fashion. And you can see that I have this even on my desktop scrolling. And what I, I did here is I went into my mobile display, went to page layout options. And you can see I set the height as 2200. So that's a pretty large height. You can go even higher than this if you want, if you have more graphs to show. But sh giving that a, a big height parameter allows you more space to stack visualizations up uh, as you like them for that mobile scrolling display. So I highly recommend trying this out. I think it's actually much simpler than it even looks. And even when I displayed it, I don't think it looks too complicated. But when you try this, uh, it, it can be really good for executive dashboards that are going to C-suite uh, executives or uh, dashboards that are going to large audiences. You may not want to implement this on every dashboard you do, but those high visibility dashboards, it can definitely be worth it. So give it a shot. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, thanks for joining this week's quick tip. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep getting new quick tips. Uh, we're putting them out more and more each week. And uh, hope you have a good one and we will see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.